Hello, and welcome to the NJDP's training video series on Combined Sewer Overflow, or CSO, Monitoring Report Forms. This training is specifically designed to assist CSO permittees who, consistent with their NJPS permits, are required to submit CSO-related data to the department on a Monitoring Report Form, or MRF. This training series is divided into two parts. The first part will provide a brief introduction to the monitoring report forms required for CSO reporting. Topics that we will cover include what an MRF is, which MRF is used for CSO reporting, and the endorsement and submission requirements associated with CSO MRFs. In addition, we will briefly explore the electronic submission process available to NGIPTI CSO permittees for submitting their monitoring report forms to the department. We will address the reasons why it is recommended that CSO permittees participate in the process, as well as some specific details regarding the process itself, including the essentials for submitting monitoring report forms electronically. Lastly, we will explore the additional training and resources that are available on monitoring report forms. In the second part of this training series, we will explore in detail the specific monitoring report forms that will be used for CSO reporting, called Discharge Monitoring Reports, or DMRs. First, we will discuss the information presented on the submittal form that accompanies a DMR, as well as the information necessary to complete this form. Next, we will explore the four parameters that, depending upon the circumstances, will appear on a CSO outfalls DMR solids and floatables, duration of discharge, precipitation, and laboratory certification number. Lastly, as we discuss each of the parameters, we will proceed to complete an example DMR using a series of hypothetical examples.